Hello everyone again, uh, it's Chris again. I'm going to show you how to make this exploding planet, exploding sun, whatever you want to call it, this look, this effect. So, um, but also keep just keep in mind, I'm not going to show you how to do everything exactly here because in my previous tuto tutorials, I have showed you shown you already how to do layers and uh, different filters on layers and stuff and all the brushing effects so you know how to do that so I'm only going to show you how to get this this exploding streaking effect okay because I want you to actually produce stuff yourself and not just have all the values and everything for, you know used from me because I learned everything I know by fiddling with Photoshop and doing very basic tutorials so now to start new canvas make the background black to start with there you go new layer down bottom right throw in a new layer over here up here we want the circle tool hold shift bring it down we don't make it like right to the edges we want some room you know, about that big will be fine on the new layer make sure you leave the background transparent for this once you draw the circle now you can get the paint bucket, the paint bucket tool. Make sure it's black still, and fill in the and fill the circle in. So now that the circle's filled, we can go up to here, filter, noise, add noise. I have my noise set to 30%. Uh, distribution is on Gaussian, and I have monochromatic ticked. So do that, and then click OK. Now. We need to blur them, so we go filter again, blur, and then down to Gaussian blur. Now I have mine set to about 1.5 pixels, you can change this. Now I clicked uh, OK, so now we've got like this blurry, starry field. So now go image, adjustments, levels. Sorry about that. And then we can change these, change the levels here. So just fiddle with this as much as you want to get the distribution right. I'm just gonna around there. So starting from the left, I have 17, 0 0.10, and 53, and then click OK for that. Now we've got that distribution of large and smaller blobs around it. So now Control D to unselect that. Now go filter, and then down to distort, across, and then find polar coordinates. Click that. Choose polar to rectangular. Then click OK. And you get this wave effect going on the top. Now edit, down to transform, cross down to counterclockwise, and then it rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise, and then it flips it on its side, like so. Now go filter, down to stylize, cross down to wind, choose method of wind, choose wind for method, direction is from the right, and then click OK. And now we get that little bit of a streak effect, so press Control F, two more times I say you can change that it doesn't have to be two more times every time but now that you get see how you've got this straight line here from where it's meant to be straight except when we did that, the wind effect it put all this extra crap on so you actually have to get rid of that otherwise it's going to ruin the last effect so just use the rectangle tool select it and press delete and just delete all that rubbish Otherwise, the next step uh, will be awful and it won't work properly because when it tries to put it back together and make a circle again, it won't be a circle. It will be this off-center, oblong, awful shape and it's really nasty. Now that once we've cleared up the edge here, go edit, transform, and rotate it back to the right way so rotate 90 degrees clockwise and now we need to center again so 
it'll snap back into position. You'll feel it. You'll, you'll see it just kind of snap into the corners and stuff, and then that's it. Just push it right up to the top, right to the sides like that. Now we go filter, distort, polar coordinates, and then we need to change it back to rectangular to polar, and that puts it into a big circle, like a sphere look almost. And it looks like it's exploding outwards. So now that's just that's the main effect I wanted to show you how people sign it all the time. Okay. Uh, you know, everyone I've showed you, so um, you should know how to do the levels. You can always fiddle and change these settings yourself. So yeah, that gives you a different effect. And uh, I showed you how to do the hue and saturation with colorization in my previous tutorials. So you can change the effect. So now we've got like a blue explosion. Throwing, if you like, you know, we, we can always throw in a new layer. Uh, and use the brush tool with a cloudy brush texture. Change this to a light blue here around about, and just we can color that in, just like that. Of course, you'd be uh, doing this with a little more patience and uh, detail, obviously. Um, and we can just you know just to quickly show you how. You can do the bright glow, and also when you do this, try and make the center of the explosion bright white almost, like that's the, the core. That's like ground zero of the explosion. Oops. And uh, but I mean like, remember about the layers? We can change the layers types and stuff. So we can change these down to get slightly different effects. But they all look pretty awful. But that's okay. Because um, everything I've showed you should, in my previous tutorials, should help you make a really decent looking picture. See, even just with a little bit of brush to like soften it out, makes it look, you know, better already. And um, also just another point up, the edges are very straight and very circle like on the um, explosion so if you want to just fix that just use the eraser brush or or use masking layers which I haven't showed you how to do and you can just um, you know clear out a few little gaps to make it not so perfectly round so it looks a little a little better, and um, uh, I suppose if you really if you want, you can duplicate that layer. Use blending options, and uh, change the fill opacity down so you don't want an extra layer. You can you you can uh, you want you can put outer glows in if you want. See, you can do that. In inner glow as well, but yeah. So I hope this showed you how to do like an explosion. Kind of. <laughs> I know it's been very rushed, and I only showed you the basics, but that's all I really wanted to show you because I don't want I don't want to show you how to do everything perfectly. And there you go, an exploding sun or gas planet or whatever in its very basic form. Uh, well, uh, maybe in the future I'll show you how to make a quasar effect like the one I have made here on my on my desktop. I made this quasar here. It's mainly all brushes here and uh, different layers. So, well. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped you and uh, might make another one in the future if you leave decent comments. So, see you later.